In this video, I will show you a quick example on how to use formulas in transaction SA16H in SAP S4 HANA. This is the fourth video I create on SA16N and SA16H. To see the other videos, you can check the data browser's playlist on the YouTube channel. I will leave you a link here and also in the description of the video. Go to transaction SA16H. And for today's example, I will use the table BSEG. I will create a formula that will calculate the difference between the posting date and the clearing date of any document. So for example, if we post a customer invoice today, and then we clear it after 10 days, I want my formula to be able to select the two dates, deduct them, and find the difference which is 10 days. To select an existing formula, you can go to the field here, and then click on the drop-down menu and select any existing formula, or to create a new one, you can click on this calculator icon and here we can create, change, display or delete a formula. I will call my formula Z underscore age, then click on create. Here I will insert a field name for the field where I want SAP to show the result of my formula. So this is a new field that SAP will create now once I save the formula. And the field for example I will call it Z test underscore age. And then I need to give SAP a reference field that SAP will use to create my new field. Because now SAP needs to understand, is this field a character field? Is it a number? Is it a date? And to do so, we give SAP a reference field that SAP will use to create the new field. The reference field I will use is a field that is also in BSAG. We can use any table. And there is a field in BSAG that shows the number of days after due date. So it has the same nature as the field I want to have which shows also the number of days between posting date and the clearing date. And this field is ZBD2T. So this is something you need to know before you start creating the formula. You need to find any field in any table that you want to use as a reference for the definition of the new field. And here I will insert the formula. And this must include fields that are available in the table. To show all the fields that are available, we can click on this icon. And this will show all the fields. Now my formula will include the clearing date minus posting date. So the clearing date is AUGDT. We can find it here. And then I will click on minus. And then posting date is H underscore BUDT. BUDAT. This is the posting date. And I know the name of these fields because before I enter into this screen, I search it for the fields here. Now if you look here, we have the clearing date minus posting date. And then the unit of measure is days. So if we look here, we have D, days, and this is it. Okay, execute. Now let's select our formula, Z underscore age, and I want to show only the lines that are already cleared. To do this, I will go to clearing date. So this is the clearing date field, and I will choose not equal to empty. So this way, I will see only the lines that have a clearing date. And then let's see how many lines we have. We have 3,114 lines, okay, and execute. Now let's put the days next to each other so we can see the result of our formula. Go to change layout, and here we have the clearing date, push it up, and let's look for posting date. Posting date, and also let's put it up. And then here I have my new fields, the test age and the end of measure. If you cannot find them here, you can also find them at the end of the columns that are displayed. Or if you go all the way to the right in the report, you will find them as the last two columns. I selected my two columns here and then I will also put them here after the clearing date. So here we have the posting date, clearing date, age and unit of measure. Okay. And here, as you see, we have the posting date 0208-2021. Clearing date is 12-08-2021. So the difference is 10 days. Here we have 0 2 Zero 09 until 1109 the difference is nine days. So our formula is working correctly I hope you found this video interesting and useful if you would like to get access to other videos and to the presentations Configuration materials and study notes you can check the channel membership program You can also check the rest of the playlist here the next video here or other interesting videos up there Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon